Today I'm going to show you how the power trunk works on the 2017 Audi Q7 and everything I'm going to show you, you need the advanced key for it to work properly. So right here I have the key fob and it's just going to be in my pocket for this whole video. So there's several ways to open up the trunk on the new Q7. You can either walk up to the car and press right here and that will cause it to open. And then to shut the trunk, you can just press this button right up here. And it will shut. Now the feature that most people have trouble with is the kick to open feature. So I'm going to show you how that works. You want to go right in the center of the parking sensors and just do one single straight kick. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. You just walk up to the car, do one single straight kick under the center. And it will open. And as you can see, there's about a one to two second delay before it opens. And many people confuse this delay with thinking it didn't work and they'll try and kick again. However, once you kick again, that will cause the feature not to work. Or they'll try and move their foot all around underneath until it works. And that will cause it not to work either. It just needs to be one single straight kick. And you can do the same exact thing to close it. Just one single straight kick under the center. And once again, you have that delay. And then another way to open it is if you use the key fob, you just press the trunk button and hold it until it opens, then you can release. And then once again to shut it, this time you have to press and hold until it completely shuts. And everything that I just showed you, that only works when the ignition is off. So now I'm going to show you a few ways to operate it with the ignition on. So coming around to the inside of the vehicle, with the ignition off, this switch here also works. Just flip it and the trunk will open. And now if I turn the ignition on, The key fob is now deactivated once the ignition is on, so that means all the proximity features such as kicking underneath it to open and close it will cause it not to work. So now the only ways to close it is if you go to the back and press the button up here, or you could come up to the front and you can hold this switch and you have to hold it until the trunk is completely shut. So now that's shut, I just let go of it. And that is all the ways to operate the power trunk on the new 2017.